What was the worst, most damaging, way you took revenge? I was playing follow the leader with my best friend in kindergarten. He was the leader and ran up the slide. We weren't supposed to run up the slide. But we were 5 years old and could make our own decisions. I followed him. But the teacher saw me and told me to sit down on the pavement until recess was over. So I told her that my friend went up it first and I just followed. The teacher called him over and asked if what I said was true. To which he said no. So then I told him we weren't friends until he said sorry. That showed him. He said sorry and then we played Tony Hawk on his N64 after school. A neighbor who I never met accused me of trying to stab her dog through a double fence this winter. They have a wooden 6 foot stockade fence surrounded by a 4 foot chain link fence. The dog was injured on something in their backyard and required several stitches which resulted in a large vet bill that they couldn't afford. They concocted the story that their animal hating neighbor did this and began a fundraiser and raised quite a sum of money. Way more than the bill was. I had no idea about this whole drama until a friend in the police department told me of what this wacko was accusing me of. So once I found out. I requested a copy of the police report where the neighbor stated that the dog was hurt in their yard. There wasn't any blood or human footprints near the fence etc etc. And I posted it to the fundraising site. He lost friends and reputation for $400. Ah damn it I'm not proud of this. There was a girl on the bus. We'll call her Zeech. ZB was not a nice person. Played truant all the time. But her dad was friends with the head so she got off scot-free. Made fun of other kids. Kept one guy on the ropes and then webcammed herself having sex with her boyfriend to him. Was just a dumb mean itch in general. So one day I was talking to my friends and made a silly joke about something sexual. Not including her. And she just chimed in with a itchy comment about me being out of my depth and cackled at my then teenage lack of a girlfriend. Just standard itchy stuff. She does this twice more over the week. I was currently going through a depressive phase so I just felt down about it. Then a few months later a friend told me that she had got an abortion over the summer. At first I was just bemused. Then I realized what this meant. So I added her on MySpace as a generic hot guy and commented how cute she was. She instantly added me. Naturally. So after a few days of playing Jama, I then proceeded to send her random pictures of aborted fetuses and damaged uteruses for about a week. She quit school at the end of that term and left for good. Cough. Not me, but my brother has always been one of those evil geniuses thinking 10 steps ahead of everyone else. In kindergarten he went to a fancy private school and used to get picked on a lot for wearing glasses. The one time he actually fought back in self-defense. He got sent to the principal's office and lost recess privileges for a week. This was in January. He held on to that resentment all year. Fast forward to the last day of school. My brother consumes as many liquids as he possibly can. And then doesn't use the bathroom all day. In the last hour of the day, he sneaks into the principal's office and pees everywhere. We're talking all four walls, floor, and ceiling. Eventually, my brother gets caught. When the principal asked why he did it, he looks him straight in the eyes and says you pissed me off. So I pissed on you. And that's how you get expelled from private school. When I was 11 there was a guy in the year above me that used to be a bully he would stand over everyone and he was massive for a 12 year old one day after doing pay, physical education class. I went to get changed into uniform in the changing room that was backed onto his classroom. Just my luck this douche happens to be in there what are the odds? Anyway a few words are exchanged before he shoves me really hard into all these school bags that were stored in there and leaves. When I dusted myself off something caught my eye. It was his bag his mum had written his name in big bold letters so I thought duck him and had a look and to my great joy discovered the sickest Dragon Ball Z card collection he was a rich kid as well as a bully and had them at school to show off so yeah I stole them and never looked back. After school I seen him crying like a rich telling his mum that they are missing. Edit. Yes my English isn't the best I'm sorry. I've posted this story before but it's relevant. I got to dispense a little justice to my neighbor once. I met the neighbor sitting outside shining boots. He was in the army national guard. I walked over to introduce myself and we talked a bit about the army. I helped him shine his boots and pulled a couple of beers out of the cooler that I kept in the back of my truck. Fast forward a few months. And I'm silently wondering if I'm an alcoholic. 
The case of beer that I bought day before yesterday had dwindled to a six pack. I shrugged it off. I drove my wife's car to work one day that week. My wife worked in a shop across the street and phoned me to tell me that she's been watching the neighbor climb into my truck and stuff his pants with my beer. At first, I was going to confront him and demand restitution but I decided that I could avenge my missing cans of beer by switching to bottles. So I switched. And when they were empty I refilled them with. I recycled beer and recapped. Put them in my cooler and waited patiently. A few went missing. I waited. Nothing else was taken. My point was made. A buddy of mine insulted me. So I got him drunk. Took him down to the family catacombs. Chained him to a wall inside an alcove. And bricked up the front of the alcove. No regrets. I made a kid eat his own parents. Chopped up into chili. I'm biking my dog around my neighborhood. Some guy almost runs me over with his SUV while laughing and turning onto his driveway. I have to jump off my bike to avoid him. I get really pissed off and start punching and kicking his car like a meth addict and a wall. He gets scared and stays inside his car. I walk to the back and pull out my pocket knife and put a huge gash along his back door with a huge grin on my face just to freak him out more. I go back to my bike with my dog waiting patiently because he's never seen me that mad and we bike home together towards the sunset. When I was 14 my father and I spent every evening for a week refinishing a deck for a client. We finally get paid. $600 in cash. And head home for dinner. As we enjoy our meal inside something darker is happening outside. The neighborhood teens who frequently roamed our street happened to be walking by our driveway when they decided to see if any cars were unlocked. Guess which one was? The car with the cash. We were close to finishing dinner when my dad thought he heard something outside which simultaneously made him remember the cash. He rushes out and sees the teens running off. Only 25 yards down the road. After checking the car extensively for the money he decides to call the cops. They believe him because the kids had done this before. Unfortunately without them recovering the money nothing could be proven. It was gone. For the next two years I took every opportunity for revenge. I ambushed them at night with a paintball gun once. Trapped three uncolored outdoor cats I knew belonged to them and turned them into the shelter. I called the cops each time they drank beer outdoors then sat and watched them get picked up. All of it felt good and I feel we're even. I once took a spider that bit me and put it into a hot pan and just watched it get carbonized. I had this really itchy neighbor a few years ago. She and her boyfriend always did random it to me and my stuff. Once she drew on my car with sharpie, it was a D. Stole my garbage bins and hid them in her backyard. I've called the police on her many times, but she's got connections there so she was always let off. Then she killed my cat. He was an outdoors cat. And while he was chilling, she fed him rat poison. How do I know? She told me so. Apparently he was agitating her dogs so she killed him. Her dogs were fancy ass. Top notch. 10k apiece dogs. They were all show dogs and ducking adorable. So I took all three of them. And gave them to various friends family members. One is in Canada. One in the UK. And another in Japan. I didn't think I'd get away with it. But she didn't have any of those tracking microchips in her dogs so I literally just took off the collar and they were mine. I moved shortly after that. But apparently she's still looking for them. TL. DR. Itchy neighbor killed my cat. So I stole her dogs and scattered them across the world. My ex GF's neighbor was always accusing her of not picking up after her dog. One day my ex opens her front door. And many piles of dog poo are there on the step. Obviously put there by the neighbor. X then takes a bucket. Puts all of the turds inside. Fills the bucket with hot water. And walks to the neighbor's house. When the neighbor answers the door. My ex throws the hot bucket of dodget water in the lady's face. And into her house. My ex was arrested for assault. Edit. Clarity. In 6th grade. Some kid made a snide remark in class about my name. And the whole class laughed. I saw him in the hallway carrying books the next day, so I kicked the back of his knee. The sound of teeth on linoleum still fills the spaces between my thoughts. April Fool's Day this year, I had several friends send fake texts to another friend, let's call him Steve, who lives in a different state. 
The texts were pretend responses to an imaginary ad offering free kittens. Steve somehow figures out it was me. He then goes to a popular classified site and posts three separate ads with my number attached, free puppies, free kittens, and a free 42 inches flat screen TV. I start receiving a flood of calls, texts, and voicemails. I was contacted by well over 150 interested individuals in the first couple hours. I frantically tried to think of how I was going to get him back, and then it hit me. I responded to everyone by saying sure, it's still available. Come by anytime tonight after 5. I'm Steve. Here's my address. Except that I didn't always say 5 I told people to come at different times. Steve had a steady stream of angry disappointed visitors that evening from 4 to 10 p.m. TL. Doctor my friend puts fake classifieds online with my number. And I send them all to his address. So everyone has heard of the classic x lax and the brownies trick right? Well my buddy pulled that weak sauce on me about a week ago so I pulled this little ditty on him to show him just how much more worse it can get. So there is this awesome weight loss drug called Alay. Which works by turning off the enzymes that digest ingested fats so instead of being absorbed through the gut they are instead passed right through the GI tract. Well I took said buddy out to a truce dinner at the local Asian buffet. Pretty much fat covered fat in fat and slipped him a desmid meal. The amount of raw sludge that has dripped, sloshed, and exploded out of that undeserving deserving asshole is more revenge than I could ever hope for. Once when I was at school this annoying kid used to sit next to me and copy my work. For a while I let it happen despite being pissed off at the same time. Anyway, one day I was in a particularly bad mood and he was up to his usual tricks. At this point he wasn't even being subtle about it and he just casually reached across and started pulling my sheets of paper closer to him. I snapped and said just take my duck eyeing work. I put my hand flat on the sheets of paper and viciously slid them along the desk in his direction. Letting go of them swiftly, air got underneath the paper and they lifted up in the direction of his face. One corner of a sheet of paper flung straight up into his eyeball and I immediately thought duck. What have I done? After crying for a bit. He moved his hand away and his eye was bloodshot right next to his iris. To this day his eye still looks the same and I'm ridden with guilt whenever I see him. Was at a huge music festival in Wales. Long story short. Some muscle doucher bag raver assholes stole all our booze out of our tent and drank the stuff in plain sight while laughing at us all. We confronted them. They denied it. They were much bigger than us and were surrounded by their friends. So next day. They all leave to go to the main venue tents and my mate runs. Dives into their tent and disappears for a good 10 minutes. I'm wondering what the hell he's doing so I walk over and open up the tent. Only to find him squatting over a hole he'd dug in the ground in the middle of their tent. And he's taking the biggest hit I've ever seen. Just nonchalantly pooping in this hole. He finishes up. Drags the canvas flooring back over this hole. We take a quick look for any booze we can have. But none that we could find. And we walk back to our tent. For the rest of the festival. We can hear these cunts shouting about the ripe smell of it everywhere. Until one of the lad's girlfriend decided to drag the canvas bottom out of the tent and find the hidden treasure trove of it. Suffice to say they had pissed off more people than just us so when they confronted us. All we could do was deny it completely and laugh. Surprise we didn't get beaten up simply for taking the piss out of the situation like we did was a good festival. Chase and status weren't bad. Found more booze. Used the porta potties from then on. I used to have a feral cat living behind my apartment building. It would always piss and it on my car. It hated people and didn't want to be touched. Always running if you got to within 10 feet. Anyways, I got revenge on that itch one day when I trapped her. Took her to the vet. Got her a checkup and paid for some minor surgery. Then I got her adopted. Last I heard she lived with a toddler that picked her up and carried her everywhere. Duck that cat. She got what she deserved. I posted links to the bondage website my ex-girlfriend did a few shoots with to online reviews of the legit business she ended up working for after getting her life straight. Sounds pretty awful. Huh. I still wish I hadn't done it. But she had just tried to get me fired when she discovered I had moved on by telling completely fabricated stories. I mean stories with no basis in truth. I have children. 
trying to get me fired was evil. I texted after the posts with exactly this telling lies to get people fired is lame. Dude. The truth works so much better. Link to her company's reviews. I really shouldn't have. But I was angry and it felt like self-defense at the time. I downvoted their posts. Every. Single. One. The girl I was seeing at the time cheated on me. So after a while of not talking I said it was alright and set her up with a friend of mine. Who just so happened to have herpes. She caught it. I regret nothing. Edit. Epic plot twist. I'm Canadian. Went paintballing. 1D had thought it would be hilarious to shoot me in the back of the leg to see if it worked. Obviously it hurt like ducking crazy. Anyways. Two rounds in and we get put on the same team. He's forgotten about it because he's done about 30 other D-head things since then. He walks about 10 feet in front of me as we begin the round and says is everyone ready? So. I shot him in the back of the leg and said yeah just gotta see if my gun is working. He turns around screaming at me so. Ever so calmly I shoot him again. Judging by his reactions. I shot his left ball. Walked away. He went home. Victory. Not worse but funniest. I dated a guy for 3 years and broke up with him when I found out he was married. Whole other story. I basically did nothing when I found out other than stop speaking to him. About 6 months later I was thinking about it and wanted to send a little jab so I logged into the student library site with his student card info and ordered a few dozen books on adultery to be delivered to his office. Option available to grad students, which he shares with two colleagues. He's a computer science major so the books were definitely not part of his studies. It was little but gave me a laugh. I was sitting in the library on the first day of fall semester trying to work and a kid wearing Beats headphones was loudly rapping to his music. I politely asked him to stop. To which he called me a witch or something. Tried to make a scene. And got up and left. The thing was he had forgotten to log off of his school's account. So I dropped him from all his classes. I changed a battery for a guy I can't stand. So I didn't connect the auxiliary pack before I removed the battery from his car. So his clock and radio stations all got reset. There was this jerk that used to make it his personal mission to make my life miserable in school. I was quiet and never really bothered anybody. But for some reason that sort of thing set him off. I got back at him by keeping everyone at arm's length and developing a bitter and cynical view of the world by being happier than them. I actually don't think I've done anything proactively, but letting them drown in each other's psychosis instead of being each of their punching bag victim has been pretty great. I was sleeping when my back door was broken down by two men. I yelled and they left. A young kid knocked on my door and said he saw it, and that one of the thieves had a blue jacket and a yellow hat. I was livid and got into my car to scour the neighborhood. It took me about 5 minutes to find them and I drove up to them while in my car. I was yelling at them. The kid with the blue jacket. Kept his head low and walked away while his friend confidently approached my car. I kept yelling that they had broken down my door. Ma. Confident told me to calm down and that they had done nothing. I asked for their names. A fake one was given. And told them I was going to the police and that a witness had seen Emma. Blue jacket in my yard. With that, I guess MR. Confident got scared and he reached for me. I floored it and he held onto my window and I dragged him for about 20 yards. He was twice my size and would have beaten me senseless. But I managed to get away. Call the cops and eventually they were busted. One of the dumbest thing I have ever done. My brother broke an expensive pair of headphones I had recently purchased and I told him one day I'd get him back but kept quiet about it for months. One night I was lying in bed unable to sleep and I decided to punch him as hard as I could in the nuts. He doesn't like me very much anymore. When I was in the 5th grade there was this chump who always teased me. One day outside of school I ran up to him and kicked him as hard as I could in the balls and I remember hearing him scream as I walked away like a badass. Years later his parents ran into my parents at a restaurant and blamed me for their kid's testicle issues he still has. Years later I kind of feel bad about it. But he was a pig faced D. My friend's sister saved her used tampons and scattered them around her ex-BF's car after breaking into it one night. I'm not proud of this. But my girlfriend cheated on me so I ducked her best friend. 
bring on the down votes. I stopped picking up her phone calls. Girl was a major attention whore who loved to lead me on and then run off to duck some random guy every few months. We dated a few times but when we broke up and she ran off again I said duck it. She comes back pregnant and still tries calling me every few months. At least she didn't claim the kid was mine. Flooded a neighbor's house they were selling when I was 14 for the kid next door stealing some video game from me before they moved. Their uncle came in to check on the house and heard an audible oh my god. In what world been the moment when he opened the door and tons of water came pouring out. Left it running for almost two days before he got there. Also might have pooped in the house. Might have. I worked in an office once. And the boss was a real prick. If you used any of your sick days, he would hold that against you at your yearly review. But if he was sick at all, or even just felt like it, he would stay home or go golfing. Well, there was a terrible flu going around. I was sick. A co-worker was sick and throwing up in his trash bin. But none of us were allowed to leave. So when my boss went home super early, again, I went into his office and coughed and sneezed all over his mouse and keyboard. He got really sick a day later. One day I was parked at school in the parking lot and someone literally blocked me in. It was a two car parking lot and they decided to put their car behind mine so I can't pull out. It was my last class of the day and I was pissed off that day for some reason. I keyed the entire car all around. I keyed duck and dece on the car. I poured land and fluid I had in my car all over the door handles and the windshield. I even went as far as putting like 3 nails I had in my car in back of the tire so when they pull out they would go through the tire. I then became very paranoid that I could probably go to jail for this and luckily the guy in front of me pulled out before the car that blocked me in. I had to wait 3 hours after class for that asshole. Not exactly the worst revenge but I think it's funny. My ex-mother-in-law was one of those a wife serves her husband and does everything kind of people. She always criticized me, my housework, the meals I cooked etc. I decided to get even by filling a sock with the dust from my vacuum canister. Every day I'd stop by her house and take a moment to shake the sock around her house. It left dust everywhere. The floors were the easiest. Everyone's socks would get dirty from walking around. Her husband was noticing she wasn't doing her duty. The best was when I went and shook dust all over her couch pillows and returned that night. I made a show of flopping down on the couch from being so exhausted from work. Dust went everywhere. Her husband was like what the hell. Don't you ever vacuum? Double quote. After getting let go from my job, I took a dump in the urinal before leaving the office. Not my finest moment. When I was first out on my own I went to live temporarily with some friends while I settled in and got my own place. I put most of my belongings in the storage unit of their apartment. I went back a week or so after moving into my own place to get my things and my buddy told me that the guys he knows downstairs from him had taken my bed set. I went down to confront them about it and when they opened the door I could see straight into their apartment and into the bedroom and there was my bed. They denied it and said their uncle gave it to them and shut the door in my face. I asked my buddy if he knew which car they owned and he did. He pointed it out. I checked the doors. They were unlocked. I went into my car and grabbed the extra bottles of motor oil I had. And proceeded to coat the interior of their car in motor oil. The last bottle covered the driver's seat. Then I walked next door to the 7-11. Bought a carton of milk. And poured it into the vents of the car. Got stung by a bee. Put it in the toilet and pissed on it. Duck off. Nature. This is my dad's story from when he was a kid. He was walking down the road one day when a bunch of kids in their late teens pulled up in a car and sprayed him with a fire extinguisher. He blew it off as a joke and thought it was pretty funny. Five minutes later the same kids circle around and spray him a second time. This time my dad took note of the license plate number make and model of the car and proceeded to track it down and find out where the kid lived. That night he went to the kid's house and threw a fire extinguisher through the car's windshield. Justice was served. Last year had been my first time playing with airsoft guns. Right around the end of 2013 summer, I was invited to my friend's woodland property to play with his guns. There were about 12 of us, and sadly I was the only chick. After being divided onto a team, 
My one friend, we'll call him Greek, relentlessly showered my ass in bullets. Greek was not only literally three times my sizes, but was also large enough to just shake me out of the trees I was trying to snipe in. So, around the end of the night, I crouched under a bush and saw this ducker coming towards me, and I shot him in the testicle. Down he fell like a mighty HS oak screaming at the top of his lungs. She shot Emmy in the bowels. After rallying everyone over to see the commotion, we all had a good laugh while he vomited and writhed in the mud. Then helped him inside. I'm still good friends with Greek. D.